I'm John Coyle. Welcome to AutoNation Drive's head-to-head -head feature. This week is a bit of a family feud, as we're comparing the 2019 Toyota Camry with its luxurious corporate cousin, the Lexus ES. So if you're looking to decide whether you should buy a sensible sedan or upgrade to the lap of luxury, stay tuned as we compare the engines, cabins, infotainment, and price. First, let's look at the powertrains. The Camry is available with three options. Base models come with a four-cylinder good for 203 horsepower and 184 pound-feet of torque. If you're looking for more power, there's also a V6 with 301 horsepower and 267 pound-feet of torque. Both use an eight-speed transmission. At 32 City, 41 Highway, the four-cylinder delivers great fuel economy, while the V6 is EPA rated at 22 City, 29 Highway. The 208 horsepower hybrid model predictably tops them both, delivering up to 51 City, 53 Highway. There are also a couple of choices for the ES. The most powerful is a 3.5 liter V6. It's good for 302 horsepower, which is mated to an eight-speed transmission. No manual is available, and it's EPA rated at 22 miles per gallon city and 33 highway. There's also a hybrid option, which has a 2.5 liter four-cylinder paired with an electric motor and puts out 215 horsepower. It's rated at 43 miles per gallon city, 45 highway. Now, let's look inside the cabin. The Camry was fully redesigned for the 2018 model year, and the new bold styling carries over to the interior. While it doesn't feature the womb-like quiet of a true luxury car, the dramatic lines of the dash, well-integrated central display, and great material quality make it a very pleasant place to be. In the trunk, you'll be able to carry about 15 cubic feet of cargo. Lexus is known for high-quality cabins, and the ES is no exception. With eye-catching angles and judicious use of wood and aluminum trim, there's lots to love here. We particularly like the way the far edge of the infotainment display was blended into the dashboard. Out back, you'll find nearly 17 cubic feet of cargo space. The Camry doesn't skimp on infotainment. Base models come with a 7-inch touchscreen, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and Apple CarPlay, a feature that's long been absent from Toyota vehicles. Android Auto isn't available, but buyers can opt to upgrade to a system with an 8-inch screen that also includes satellite radio and three USB ports. Overall, the system is intuitive, which makes for a short learning curve. In contrast, the infotainment in the S is more complicated and relies on a touchpad to navigate the menus for various settings. While the Lexus has plenty of great features, the execution of its infotainment system remains an Achilles heel for the brand. Turning to safety, the Camry aced its test from both the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety. Cutting edge safety tech like a pre-collision system, pedestrian detection, lane departure alert, and adaptive cruise is standard. Blind spot monitoring and rear cross traffic alert and other safety features are available as options. The Lexus ES hasn't been tested by the NHTSA, but earned top safety pick status from the IIHS. Like the Camry, it comes standard with great features like forward collision avoidance, pedestrian detection, lane keep assist, and blind spot monitoring. Plus, it includes features like bicyclist detection and automatic headlights. Now, it's time to talk price. The base Camry starts at $24,350, while the top of the line XSE model starts at $34,600. In comparison, the standard Lexus ES starts at $39,750, the hybrid at $41,560, and the sportier F-Sport version comes in at $44,285. Of course, you shouldn't buy a car without a thorough test drive. So if you're deciding between the Toyota Camry and the Lexus ES, visit AutoNation.com to find a nearby dealer. Which do you think is the best choice? Leave a comment below, and also be sure to subscribe as we have more head-to-head -head comparisons coming up. I'm John Coyle, thanks for watching.